The engineering spacesuit. The best protection against low and high temperatures. It wouldn't survive a blaster shot, of course, but it protects you from everything else well. Among other things, the engineering spacesuit has an automatic helmet heating system, which can help to avoid unpleasant consequences when flying in areas with cooling gel. Yeah, real funny I mentioned that, because as it turns out, uh... Yep, we can just build that right now. Yes. I think I've already read that other description, but... Oh, it's a nice little HEV suit looking thing. Not only will it help us out in space, but it'll help us if we need to fight some head crabs. Looks rather nice, I think. Yeah. That's five stars on his little... Yeah, that's still five stars. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, let, let's switch to that for a little while. Let's... Oh, I like the little... Yeah, this, is, this really does have an HEV suit look to it. I likes it. So do we have room for this in here? Sure. Yeah, just just a couple of spare suits. And also, while I'm here, I'd like to construct this shuttle airlock and see what that's about, because that's real cheap. That's just an aluminum and two titanium. So let's get on out here. And I imagine I need to put that on the transport layer. So let's just shuttle airlock, you say. So, how... Like, it doesn't look like there should be anything... Oh, we're out of power again. We are out of power. More improved communications? It doesn't use that much power. Hmm, weird. Well, uh, improved communications. Two aluminums and electronics and a titanium. There, let's just... Oh, wrong module? Okay. So improved communications. I imagine that can only go in the service module, but let's just make sure. It can't go into the hab. Yep, so that's a service module only. So then if we now go into here, and wrong module, but we built one of those on this module. Oh, it was just that I was trying to build it where there was already something there. Yeah, I don't have many more spaces left. Well, regardless, that's restored our power, so let's check out our new airlock. and. It doesn't look like it's anything special. So, wait, shuttle airlock. That is what I built, yeah? An airlock with the complex system of docking with the shuttle. It allows you to quickly move from the shuttle to the station by passing the unfriendly space. Ideal for introverts, sociopaths, and misanthropes. Although space itself is also suitable for them if you think about it. True, so long as you're alone. Not quite true if you are dealing with a... Uh, yeah. So maybe... Maybe that is just like... It's only... Yeah, that vehicle's prohibited? So... What were you talking about? Regardless, we need to fuel up the bike while we're here. And yes, now that we have the heat suit, when I head back, as I'm passing through the... Uh, through the night errant area. I'm gonna check out that really hot zone with all the prominences. We are actually, we've managed to go through our, uh, our stock of resin. Quite lovely. Yes, thankfully I don't need to really worry because I know that there's tons of resin available out there in the world. But yes. Let's head on back to the mayonnaise zone and let's swing by and see what this burny burny fire area is all about. Hmm. 
You know, let's turn that one off, just so it stops bothering us every time we pass it by. I asked, and if you noticed, I remembered that I needed to uh, build myself a new scanner. So I, I just turned around and did that real quick. Yes, I won't turn down some free electronics. So, I saw the switchy switch. Let's let's do a, a fast flyover first. And... Yeah, there it is. So, just need to see if I can snipe that through the wall. It's over on this side somewhere. Oof. There we go. And I won't bother with the discharge cell. That's just making that less of an annoyance in the future. Where's the bike? There's the bike. But yes, I, I did remember that, in fact, the thing that made me come back to the base in the first place was I needed a new scanner. You know, I might as well pick up some resin while I'm here, too. We did just run out. And there is quite a lovely supply of it here. And I'm going to need a new grabber before I make more. Get more. You know what I mean. Alright, now. Straight on into the inferno. I'm sure the bike will be fine. It's just our spacesuit that needs the shielding. Ah, uh, yes, and that one I've never found a switch for. Yes, our vision goes wibbly, but the main weapon of the liner, Knight Errant, could have made such holes. If it's still functioning, I really hope that Knight Errant will not react to an object as small as your body. Hmm. It's it's a big wibbly heaty thing. Can can I Plasma Grabber required, okay. Lycoplasma! That's where we get this stuff. Well, I'll just grab a couple, because that's a really rare crafting ingredient. But it's good to know that, yeah, now we know an actual source for this stuff. Okay. Speaking of, now that I have the blueprint, I, I don't think the blaster is too terribly expensive. All considered. Yeah, this is this is honestly kind of a badass area. If I didn't need protective gear just to survive in it, I might consider setting up a base here. What's going on over there? Oh no, that's just some more lycoplasma. But how how deep into the inferno can I go? Will I eventually just start burning up as I head into this gaseous plasma layer? Okay, that is just an invisible wall. Okay then, that was, uh, that made me flinch. Not gonna lie, that made me jump. That looks like it might be something. Is that just a rock? Or is that a rock that we can use? It's just a rock. Well, I guess while I'm out, since the, uh, since the bike is now at a nice even multiple of 10 for its damage, we can fully repair it. Yep, that's nice. And let's just burn a candle. And let's get out of here. This was an interesting diversion, but it is ultimately just a diversion. Let's get back to the plot. We have lots of things to scan. Yeah, I should also probably check some of the other balls of mayonnaise that I haven't taken a swim in yet. If I can remember which ones I haven't taken a swim in yet, which is an iffy proposition. Okay. First of all, I guess let's... Yeah, I saw that icon before while I was inside the centrifuge. But I didn't see anything that I could really do with it. Yeah, let's just scan all these engines. 
No, that's that's just a replace. I guess I've already scanned that one. There we go. That's more like it. Hmm. I guess analyze the mayonnaise first, see if there's anything unusual Nothing about it. Interest. Yeah, this looks like it's just a. Is just wrapped around this particular protuberance of the ship, and there doesn't seem to be anything within it. There's some more engines. I hope we won't need that. Small modern engines can do without burning fuel, which is much safer. Huh. So all the drives in this game are reactionless? I guess that explains how we can... Yeah. Other than our um, thrusters, we don't seem to use any sort of reaction mass for our main uh, maneuver thrusters on our spacesuit. Anyway, let's see if I can find a place to duck my head in. Get some more air from inside. I had some things I needed to scan in here anyway. There we go. Yeah, another instance of the rocket vacuum cleaner. I've already learned this blueprint. Thank you, game. Yes. So I guess they just wanted to give you plenty of opportunities to learn how to build the jet bike just in case you manage to destroy the one that they give you or you didn't find it or whatever. Medium transport module. Okay. Wait, isn't medium transport module the one I'm already using? No, I'm using transport. I'm using large transport medium service. Was there anything else that needed scanning inside here, or is it just the engines on the outside? I'm not thinking there's anything in here in need of a scan. Yeah, I just need the igniter to turn the centrifuge on. Well, we'll have to go and see what that igniter is all about. Perform some proper science. And in the meantime, let's find those two other engines that are in need of a good old scan. They're probably hiding in the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. What was it that one secret document that I found hinted at? Like, the exotic material for the hypermatter engines? E-114 or something like that? Yeah, that's replace. Should be two more that I need to scan somewhere. Hmm. No, the engines don't hang off on any sort of mounting like that thing seems to. They're just kind of sticking off the sides. So where are they? Ah, they're completely detached. Well, that's potentially problematic. Maybe one of them's hiding in the mayonnaise. Yeah, navigating the mayonnaise, you kind of need to 
use your external signals to orientate yourself. Because if there's nothing within three feet of you, you've got nothing, no idea where you are or what you're doing. So, yeah. You, you... Ah, there it is. But yes, just keep on moving in a straight line, pointed towards the beacon. You'll get out eventually. Okay, so... We've got some new blueprints to examine. And with any hope, it won't be These asking us for anything. To to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start. Or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here. Hmm. Brackets, you say? Ah, okay. So there's another thing that I need to find. I need to find these thingers. Can I just smack those, please? Uh, repair tool. Okay. Okay. Something to use the repair tool on. Okay. So just need to find four of those. Maybe that's what's hidden in the mayonnaise. Because there's got to be something hidden in the mayonnaise to make this more difficult than it is. It can't just be that really super easy to find entrance. The game would not be that merciful. Not to me. These are the brackets mounting the tank to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start. Or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart in the tank right here. You can yeah. try to repair the bracket, but since you will destroy it during the repair process, it will be easier to break it beforehand. Okay. There don't seem to be any more of those brackets around. That one looked like it was pre-broken and it wasn't, like, it didn't seem to have anything for me to do to it. Well, while we're here, let's pick up a little bit of metal. We always need more metal. I think we're currently low on titanium, too. And that's probably time for us to head back. Ah, okay. There's the difference. It's farther up. Okay. Grenade or blaster? Well, you know, we were just talking about how the blaster might not be unattainable. This area is very rich in scrap. It's a pity it's a bit of a trip from home to here. But maybe I should scout around and just load up on some things before I leave again. Yeah. Let's see, I think that right now the two things I need the most are electronics and metal. If I want to go for that improved thruster. So let's scout around for any of that. Okay, that's probably a sufficient haul for now. Don't want to get too overloaded simply because I my storage space is still a bit limited. I really wish I'd unlocked a better storage option by now. Something maybe I could start building into the walls instead of the little flat pack cases. Or at the very least, if I could build some, like, wall-mounted shelves so I could arrange them a bit better, then I wouldn't feel bad about having a million of them. But as it is now, I'm laying them on the floor because the tables don't work. Things just phase through the table when you leave them alone. Hello, have I investigated you? I don't have any oxygen candles. I don't think I want to risk it. Let's just swing by and see if suit says anything. No, I'm 
not seeing anything. Okay. Also, we don't we aren't researching anything right now. Let's see if there's Yeah, I think well, I, I do eventually need to get some more paint and research the bribe just so that we always have it handy. But I think that right now the military oxygen cylinder is the thing I want the most on research. That's going to take a lot of electronics because that's... I think electronics also go into the compensators and the generators. And let's... No, let's just keep it as resin for now. Okay, so the maneuver engine. Generator, two plastic compensator and titanium. Oh boy, if we need all six of those, that's going to be a bit of a beast. The igniter, though, that's just two aluminum, two battery, and an inductor. That's more achievable. So, science before anything else is looking like on that one. Yeah. Mm. And the blaster. That's aluminum, electronics, two refined metal, and lycoplasma. Well, we can achieve that right now. A real blaster... A real battle blaster that can go pew, pew. It's quite a serious weapon, in fact. Back in the day, the invention of the working principle of beam blasters changed the balance of power in the world and allowed it to monopolize space. But who was phone? Some of the grammar is a little bit, uh, a little bit suspect from time to time. Uh, yes, of course, we need our inspiration. Yes, right. Right there. Good. Excellent. Actually, what's this going to take to build the improved thruster I'm after? Just, an in just a generator and two inductors right now. Alkaline wire. Yeah, let's go for the jet accelerator. A prototype of a military jet accelerator. It uses some kind of air gas mixture of fuel, which is easily replaced by any other gas. Probably. A bit expensive, but hopefully it'll help us reinvest into further resources. So, how does this change our appearance? Well, we're no longer wearing the, the nose clipper. Otherwise, I don't think... Ah, no, there it is. All this fancy equipment down here. Yes, we have some... We have um, elevator controls. That looks like a barometer. And I think that's just a fuel induction port. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to start offloading some of the random stuff that I'm gathering. Honestly, most of the old equipment I'm keeping more out of out of uh, nostalgia than anything anyway. Hmm. Yeah, let's we'll have to try that blaster on on the one turret that has evaded our wrath. Yes. That sounds like a potential plan. And can I swing one maneuvering thruster? Just one. Yeah, this is this is actually quite hard to assemble. I hope I don't need to assemble six of these. I really hope I don't need to assemble six of these. Oh yeah, and that that should be easy enough. Yeah, what is what does it say? Maneuver engine. A real engine for a spaceship, in theory. It could be strapped to your back and you could fly much faster, but in practice it's better not to do that. Oh, that's cowardice speaking. We already have a custom jet accelerator strapped to our butt. We could just put that right up on our back and fire all three all at once. Where's your sense of adventure? I need some more wire. That should be an easy find. Okay, so let's see what our new jet thrusters can do for us. Up to 14 and tons of fuel. 
were the investment. And it looks like it doesn't make the bike much faster, but it just has tons more fuel for the bike, too. There's some more wire. We're, we're low on all those parts, actually. It's been a while since I stocked them because I had a huge excess for a little while. This is an energy core of the Breath Edge Company. I don't know who transported such technologies on the liner and for what purpose it was done, but now it's easy to explain the presence of electromagnetic anomalies. By the way, I don't recommend turning off the active core. It will most likely lead to unpleasant consequences. This debris clearly doesn't belong to the liner, as it is made with outdated technologies. If you look at the spaceship's debris in the distance, we can assume that the liner didn't just explode, but it initially crashed into an unknown spherical structure in the debris of which we can see now. Hmm. So yeah, I'd need to switch back to the tinsel suit to get into this. It's an extremely unsafe place. I can't even use my main systems, only the built-in processor, which is perfectly protected from power surges, but is not able to count to ten without errors. That's impressive. At least it's reliable. Yes, I probably should have explored a bit closer to home first. Okay, there's the igniter. This is quite a complex device for burning fuel inside small engines. It's used only in backup engines in case of emergency, due to the danger of setting fire to something else. Well, danger is just exactly what we need right now, I suppose. And, yep, with that, let's just head on back. I technically don't need to swing by the Knight Errant Zone, but I'm curious to see if I can deal with the turret with my new Pew Pew Blaster. Alright, you draw. Okay, steady. Ho 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 ho! Would you look at that? 60 shots of pure destruction. No longer will these things ever be in our way again. Eh, I could have even got a discharge cell out of it. I wonder if those discharge cells are only a story item or if they can be used to craft something. Well, if they are a something, then I now know how to get them very, very easily. Mmm, wonderful. Let's search the Knight Errant Scrap a little bit, see if I can find some wire to bring home. I'm short on wire at the moment. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm good on fabric for the moment. What's in here? Oh uh, yeah, that's where I found the bed. I'm a bit short on batteries. Excellent. I picked exactly the perfect place to start searching. Oh? Ah, uh, but you have a proper off switch. The turret. Be careful. So yeah, let's deal with you, the freeway, because... While I do have a lot of ammunition for the blaster, I don't have infinite ammunition for the blaster. And hopefully we're close to having the Knight Errant completely safe. Hopefully. Hmm. That looks like an interesting and unique bit of scrap that I don't think I've searched before. Hmm. 
glowy hole. Ooh. Yeah, this is getting a closer look at that lycoplasma. Pretty stuff. Can I touch it? Yep. So long as I'm wearing my suit, I can touch it safely. Neat. So we have mystic space glowies, and we know how to use them. I probably should have made a new grabber. Sure, just take all of it. Grumpy cat! Hey! Aw, that doesn't look like the grumpy cat I know. A shaved cat from the Grumpy's collection. We can see why this character is always unhappy. Some owners sincerely believe that interfering with their cat's temperature regulation by using a blunt razor is a useful and necessary procedure. This is exactly the case here. Yeah, I'd say you have valid reason of all of them. That is a pretty legit reason for being pissed off right there. Okay, once more into the plot. Okay. Let's just give this a boop. No? Ah, okay. Pew 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 pew. Okay, one more bracket to go, wherever it be. Ah, there. This is hiding in the mayonnaise. Seems that detaching the bracket without getting your hands as well as other parts of your body dirty will be impossible. So what else is new? Seriously, I mean, I imagine I'm filthy in this suit by now. I built a bed, but not a shower. Okay. Brackets detached. Now we need to find out, is one engine going to be enough? I didn't see any option like ah oh, okay so this one is broken ah good I did only need one I did only need the, the one now the tank will probably be able to fly probably you know you might almost say I'm 200% sure of it in the same vein as the people who got us into this mess I went into the wrong... To the wrong mayonnaise. Well, let, let's refill our air before we try that again. Just to be sure. Is our fuel refilling faster? I mean... The, the total fuel tank is bigger, so yes, if it's refilling at the same rate, it is refilling faster. But even still, I think the the percentage of the tank fill is also a little bit faster. Maybe, possibly, probably not. Let's get this closer to the actual destination. Yeah, see, it's going up pretty quick. Uh -huh. There we are. Alright, well, let's start by seeing just how terminal that indigestion was, huh? Alright, where are you, fellow my lad? You're on the complete opposite side of the side that I went. Okay, there you go. There you go. Well, this is for science. Ooh. 
Despite the fact that the task involved pumping out gas to create a miniature engine with an igniter, your barbaric method of directly lighting your rear end was recognized as effective. It's time to check the control panel. Is it getting angrier? It's certainly charging up. Okay. bad. Okay, how to get out. Ah, no. Um. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit lost. But door. But door. Okay. I don't see any hole anywhere. Maybe that looks like it would be shocky zappy. I should have brought the tinsel suit. Yep, that's shocky zappy. Okay. Is the blob the answer? No, no, the blob is not the answer. Let me out, blob. Oh. Yep, go up there, through the tube. If the core is damaged and the mayo from the central cooling circuit was thrown into space, then we can use the same way for evacuation. Into what tube? I, I don't see any tube. You were saying that I was on the right... But I don't see... What What are you talking about, suit? Oh, that too. Okay. Two, three, four, one. Yep. There we go. My apologies for the derp there. Thankfully, the dramatic timing is still faithful to our needs. Your incredible dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly linear strength, works wonders. I, I think it's the last one that did it more than anything, Sue. Increase in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. Well, it's it's certainly um. I can't say for sure, but apparently it was a backup power cell of the newest nuclear warp installation in the core of the liner. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a green universe radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. Yeah. Well, uh, that is, uh, my apologies for the derp at the end there, but that seems like a good solid day's work. And we've got a couple of leads on where to go next with our new lovely HEV suit. I should have a relatively easy time getting into the new ice hole. We can check out the cinema. We have a couple of question marks over there to check out. And we also have the new zappy shocker thing right near our home that I finally decided to take a look at. So we have a couple of things that we could do next time. And I think that I will be deciding that next time. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to base. And I'm going to get my health back in order. You all have a lovely evening. I will see you soon.